Pseudoephedrine is a synthetic compound that belongs to the class of drugs known as sympathoma medicamines. It is a decongestant medication widely used for relieving nasal and sinus congestion associated with various conditions, including the common cold, allergies, and sinus infections. In this comprehensive video, we will delve into the common uses, benefits, potential adverse reactions, recommended dosages, and risks associated with pseudoephedrine, providing you with a thorough understanding of this widely prescribed medication. Pseudoephedrine exerts its decongestant effects by constricting blood vessels in the nasal passages and sinuses, reducing inflammation and swelling. This, in turn, alleviates nasal congestion, making breathing easier and providing relief from the discomfort caused by stuffy noses and sinus pressure. However, it is essential to note that pseudoephedrine is not a cure for the underlying condition but rather a symptomatic treatment that addresses the congestion temporarily. Common uses of pseudoephedrine. Pseudoephedrine is primarily used for the following purposes. Nasal and sinus congestion relief. This is the most common use of pseudoephedrine. It is often prescribed or recommended as an over-the-counter OTC medication to alleviate nasal and sinus congestion caused by conditions such as the common cold, allergies, sinusitis, and hay fever. Eustachian tube dysfunction. Pseudoephedrine can help relieve pressure and discomfort in the ears caused by eustachian tube dysfunction, a condition where the tubes connecting the middle ear to the back of the throat become blocked or swollen. Ear barotrauma. Pseudoephedrine is sometimes used to prevent or alleviate the discomfort associated with ear barotrauma, a condition that can occur during rapid changes in air pressure, such as during air travel or scuba diving. Temporary relief of urinary incontinence. In some cases, pseudoephedrine may be prescribed as a temporary measure to help manage urinary incontinence, particularly in women, by tightening the urethral sphincter muscle. While these are the primary uses of pseudoephedrine, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional before using this medication, as they can provide personalized guidance based on your specific condition and medical history. Benefits of using pseudoephedrine Pseudoephedrine offers several benefits when used as directed. Effective nasal and sinus decongestion. Pseudoephedrine is highly effective in reducing nasal and sinus congestion, providing relief from the discomfort and difficulty breathing associated with these conditions. Improved quality of life. By alleviating nasal and sinus congestion, pseudoephedrine can improve overall quality of life, allowing individuals to breathe more easily, sleep better, and engage in daily activities with greater comfort. Reduced reliance on oral decongestants. Pseudoephedrine is available in various forms, including nasal sprays and oral medications, which can help reduce the need for oral decongestants and their potential side effects. Non-drowsy formulation. Unlike some other decongestant medications, pseudoephedrine is available in non-drowsy formulations, making it suitable for use during the day without causing excessive drowsiness or sedation. Cost-effective. Pseudoephedrine is generally an affordable medication, particularly when purchased over the counter, making it an accessible option for many individuals seeking relief from nasal and sinus congestion. Potential adverse reactions of pseudoephedrine. While pseudoephedrine is generally well tolerated, some individuals may experience adverse reactions. These potential side effects include insomnia or difficulty sleeping. Pseudoephedrine can cause insomnia or difficulty sleeping, particularly if taken close to bedtime or in higher doses. Increased blood pressure and heart rate. Pseudoephedrine can raise blood pressure and heart rate which may be of concern for individuals with pre-existing cardiovascular conditions or those taking certain medications. Nervousness or restlessness. Some users may experience feelings of nervousness, restlessness, or anxiety while taking pseudoephedrine. Headaches. In some cases, pseudoephedrine may cause or exacerbate headaches. Dry mouth and throat. Pseudoephedrine can cause dryness in the mouth and throat, which may be uncomfortable for some individuals. Nausea or vomiting. In rare cases, pseudoephedrine may cause nausea or vomiting, particularly if taken on an empty stomach. Urinary retention. Pseudoephedrine can potentially cause urinary retention or difficulty urinating, especially in individuals with pre-existing urinary tract conditions or those taking certain medications. 
It is crucial to inform your healthcare provider about any adverse reactions you experience while taking pseudoephedrine, as they may need to adjust the dosage or recommend an alternative treatment. Recommended Dosage of Pseudoephedrine The recommended dosage of pseudoephedrine varies depending on the specific formulation, age, and individual circumstances. Here are some general guidelines. Oral tablets or capsules. Adults and children 12 years and older, 60 mg every 4-6 hours, not exceeding 240 mg in 24 hours. Children 6-11 years old, 30 mg every 4-6 hours, not exceeding 120 mg in 24 hours. Children under 6 years old, consult a healthcare professional for appropriate dosing. Oral extended release formulations. Adults and children 12 years and older, 120 mg every 12 hours, not exceeding 240 mg in 24 hours. Children under 12 years old, consult a healthcare professional for appropriate dosing. Nasal sprays or drops. Adults and children 12 years and older, follow the specific product instructions for dosage and administration. Children under 12 years old, consult a healthcare professional for appropriate dosing. It is crucial to follow the dosage instructions carefully and not exceed the recommended daily maximum. Additionally, it is essential to consult with a healthcare professional, especially for children, individuals with pre-existing medical conditions, or those taking other medications, as they may require dosage adjustments or alternative treatments. Risks associated with pseudoephedrine use. While pseudoephedrine is generally safe when used as directed, there are some potential risks associated with its use, particularly with long-term or excessive use. Increased risk of stroke or heart attack. Pseudoephedrine can increase blood pressure and heart rate, which may increase the risk of stroke or heart attack, especially in individuals with pre-existing cardiovascular conditions or those taking certain medications. Dependence and abuse potential. While rare, pseudoephedrine has the potential for abuse and dependence, particularly when taken in high doses or for extended periods. Interactions with other medications. Pseudoephedrine can interact with certain medications, such as monoamine oxidase inhibitors, MAOIs, antidepressants, and blood pressure medications, potentially increasing the risk of adverse effects or reducing the effectiveness of the medications. Exacerbation of certain medical conditions. Pseudoephedrine may worsen or exacerbate certain medical conditions, such as glaucoma, thyroid disorders, diabetes, or prostate problems. Rebound congestion. In some cases, prolonged use of pseudoephedrine can lead to rebound congestion, where nasal and sinus congestion may worsen once the medication is discontinued. It is essential to consult with a healthcare professional before using pseudoephedrine, especially if you have pre-existing medical conditions or are taking other medications. They can help evaluate the potential risks and benefits and provide guidance on safe and appropriate use. Precautions and warnings when using pseudoephedrine. To ensure safe and effective use of pseudoephedrine, it is crucial to follow these precautions and warnings. Consult with a healthcare professional. Before using pseudoephedrine, consult with a healthcare professional, especially if you have pre-existing medical conditions, are taking other medications, or are pregnant or breastfeeding. Follow dosage instructions. Carefully follow the dosage instructions provided on the product label or as prescribed by your healthcare professional. Do not exceed the recommended daily maximum dosage. Avoid alcohol and certain medications. Avoid consuming alcohol or taking certain medications, such as monoamine oxidase inhibitors, MAOIs, antidepressants, or blood pressure medications, while using pseudoephedrine as they may increase the risk of adverse effects or interactions. Monitor for adverse reactions. Be aware of potential adverse reactions, such as insomnia, increased blood pressure, nervousness, or headaches. If you experience any concerning side effects, discontinue use and consult with a healthcare professional. Limit duration of use. Pseudoephedrine should be used for the shortest duration necessary to relieve symptoms. Long-term or excessive use can increase the risk of adverse effects and dependence. Avoid driving or operating machinery. While pseudoephedrine is generally non-drowsy, some individuals may experience dizziness or impaired coordination. Avoid driving or operating machinery until you know how the medication affects you. Store properly. Keep pseudoephedrine products out of reach of children and store them in a cool, dry place, 
away from direct light and heat. By following these precautions and warnings, you can help ensure the safe and effective use of pseudoephedrine while minimizing the potential risks and adverse effects. Alternatives to pseudoephedrine for congestion relief. While pseudoephedrine is a widely used and effective decongestant, some individuals may prefer or require alternative options for nasal and sinus congestion relief. Here are some potential alternatives to consider. Nasal corticosteroid sprays. These sprays, such as fluticasone or triamcinolone, can help reduce inflammation and swelling in the nasal passages and sinuses, providing relief from congestion. They are often recommended for individuals with allergies or chronic sinus issues. Antihistamines. Antihistamines, like cetirizine or loratadine, can help alleviate nasal congestion caused by allergies by blocking the action of histamine, a chemical released during an allergic reaction. Saline nasal sprays or rinses. Saline nasal sprays or rinses can help thin out mucus and flush out irritants from the nasal passages, providing temporary relief from congestion. Decongestant nasal sprays. While not recommended for long-term use, decongestant nasal sprays, such as oxymetazoline or phenylephrine, can provide short-term relief from nasal congestion. Humidifiers. Using a humidifier can help keep the nasal passages moist and reduce congestion, particularly during dry or cold weather conditions. Natural remedies. Some individuals may find relief from nasal congestion through natural remedies, such as steam inhalation, hot beverages, or the use of essential oils like eucalyptus or peppermint. It is important to consult with a healthcare professional before trying any alternative treatments, as they can provide guidance on the most appropriate and effective options based on your specific condition and medical history. Conclusion Pseudoephedrine is a widely used and effective decongestant medication that provides relief from nasal and sinus congestion associated with various conditions, such as the common cold, allergies, and sinus infections. While it offers several benefits, including effective decongestion, improved quality of life, and non-drowsy formulations, it is essential to use pseudoephedrine with caution and follow the recommended dosages and precautions. By understanding the potential adverse reactions, risks, and appropriate usage guidelines, individuals can make informed decisions about using pseudoephedrine for their congestion relief needs. It is always advisable to consult with a healthcare professional, especially for individuals with pre-existing medical conditions or those taking other medications, to ensure safe and effective use. Remember, pseudoephedrine is a temporary solution for symptom relief and should not be relied upon as a long-term treatment. If nasal or sinus congestion persists or worsens, it is crucial to seek medical attention to address the underlying cause. If you're experiencing persistent nasal or sinus congestion and considering using pseudoephedrine, we encourage you to consult with our team of licensed healthcare professionals. Schedule an appointment today to discuss your symptoms, medical history, and the most appropriate treatment options tailored to your individual needs. Our experts can provide personalized guidance on the safe and effective use of pseudoephedrine or recommend alternative solutions for your congestion relief.